me. I wasn't sure that was going to happen. Hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Bobby. This is my channel. Welcome. In the past, I've really struggled to work on myself, self-love, self-esteem. These are things that we all need to work on, but I've tried to focus on that mostly when it came to my videos. I would talk about you and how amazing you are, even if you don't believe this, because this is where the self-esteem comes in, the self-love, which is something we all need to work on. And how did I come to this realization, you ask? I fell in love with somebody, and whether it was a soul connection, twin flame, or it was powerful, I knew it was. I knew it was, I never felt that kind of connection before so and I tried to explain it to her and she was swinging kind of low vibration still in the party mode and you know and I wasn't into that no more but I wanted her and just wanted to be with her and that was all that mattered in my world was being with her and then it came to the day when I could no longer be with her anymore you can imagine my devastation and that's where my self-love came in because I you know it's either destroy yourself or love yourself and I think that's what it came down to I was like what was I gonna do I mean I had family and friends that I thought about and cared about my son and I wanted you know I didn't want to turn to the bile of goo but at the same time I, I was going through my situation so I, I did a lot of you know searching within and started painting and hid away in my apartment and just disconnected from the world completely you know I didn't watch movies it was weird because the, the process of self-love for me was painful as hell I mean I was a basically my soul was ripped in half and I knew my soul the other half of my soul was out there somewhere and connected it was this amazing it's fucking I can't explain it I mean come on now it's like the storybooks Princess Bride don't even begin to touch on the, the true feeling of what it's like to be in the middle of this shit, right? To be in the middle of this, you know, whatever the hell it is. It's just complete bliss. It's bliss. And rarely do you actually find that in this world. On a continuation, can you imagine just sitting or standing or holding this person's hand or being in their presence was absolute bliss. It. and then all that gets ripped away and you're trying to figure out how, how do I re attain that bliss you know and this is the universe and God's way of saying well you need to find that bliss within yourself that you didn't have before you, you it's you're capable of bliss you felt that bliss and and until it's almost a curse and a blessing because you can never be with the person you're meant to be with until you heal yourself until you love yourself truly and for me to truly love myself and for them wherever they're at and whatever they're doing, God bless her. If she, when she learns to love herself and we're both in love with ourselves, then it's going to be a different situation. Maybe not in this lifetime, but you know, fingers crossed, high hopes, whatever. Always rooting for love. But that's part of self-love. And maybe it's not always that dramatic for people. When you learn to love yourself, you heal tra childhood traumas, ancestral curses, which I always talk about, are usually the biggies are alcoholism and physical abuse and sexual abuse. Those three are the real biggies that come along with the ancestral curses. And if you can break all that shit to where your children and your grandchildren are protected from all that garbage, that's how you break it. And your ancestors are praying for that. That's when I say you are your ancestors' wildest dream when you can attain that self-love and you can change your world and change your habits and change the way your children habits are and their grandchildren and that kind of thing because I've seen the, the toxic behavior be passed down to generations the yelling the abuse passed on to the sons from the father it's disgusting and I've seen like I said I've seen it firsthand and it's like the sons literally mimic the father's behavior and, and it's just horrific and that's ancestral curses that need to be broken part of that self-love I know my videos lately have been very heavy, but like I said, the world is going through a very heavy motion at this point. Very heavy. In the age of Aquarius, I'm telling you, the dark is going to fight every 
you know, tooth and nail to, to keep that balance from ha actually happening. Because balance means that the dark no longer controls the situation. You have to have balance in all things. And the age of Aquarius demands balance. Demands balance. And it's fighting hard against it. So all these toxic topics come up like 40 cents. Gas just went up 40 cents in the 50 cents in a day. I was looking at cheapest was 536 in Newport and now it's five that's the more up, upper end it's a pr uh, premium but it's what 595 now yeah yeah and, and the guy I was talking to just now at this pump over here I was 40 cents he's I was probably gonna go up another 40 cents tomorrow like, great so these are things we're dealing with but you know at the same time these are all fleet it's all it's hard to explain but but my direct my directive main directive is you is is helping you to understand healing yourself understand you even need healing because a lot of people are in their egos and in their in they just don't think that there's anything wrong with them i've talked to people like oh, i'm fine i'm healed i'm good and for me it's going to be a, a never-ending process i'm always going to need to be healing and, and the universe and god have been really super awesome with me come on now I get some sick views. I mean, come on now. If this ain't going to help you heal a little bit. And it's funny for me not to be able to understand where I'm at and to appreciate this moment. And that's, that is, that's ridiculous because, I mean, it's, I'm blessed. And I have to understand that and realize that and be grateful for that blessing. This is all part of my process, right? And instead of being a moping piece of shit like I used to be. When I was in the middle of my dark night, it was, I was a mess. But thank God I'm, it's over that. But it's self-love. And I hope she finds love for herself and, and the rest will happen. You know, once you love yourself, you're not going to take abuse from anybody. You're not going to be manipulated. You're not going to be bullied. None of that shit. So, learn to love yourself. And I'm going to stop talking and love and light, people. Have a wonderful day. Hopefully this was a little better than the last couple. But, uh, I love you and, yeah, love and light.